Going to summer camp is a once-in-a-lifetime experience, but not all families can afford to send their kids. Tim Hortons is doing something about that. Each year, the restaurant helps 18,000 kids go to camp through their Camp Day initiative. Our next guest started out as a camper. She was 12 years old, and now Caitlin O'Hara is a Tim Hortons camp counselor. And I love this story, Caitlin. It's great to have you here. Thank you. So you were 12. You went to a Tim Hortons camp. What was that experience like? Well, the, when I was 12, I went to our camp in Kentucky. And overall, one of the big things that I say to the kids coming to camp, I, I allow myself to share my story with them because I think it's really important, is that when I started going to camp, I was a really shy kid with low self-esteem. I wasn't really confident in myself, really wasn't confident in those around me. And camp has really allowed me to take what I've learned there and just be confident in myself. Confidence, you know, come on TV and speak with you. The confidence to speak to the campers, the confidence to... Um, be in university, all those things have been made possible just from my experience. How so? What was it about being in those surroundings and maybe meeting the kids that you did that inspired you to speak up? Well, camp is just a very special place. Um, when you go there, it's not a sense of disbelonging. Everyone belongs at camp. So I think that that's just kind of a unique experience. I finally felt somewhere where I belonged, and now I'm able to create that sense of belonging for the campers that come to our camp. You got so much out of it, and now you're giving back. So exactly. you're, you're a counselor now. Exactly. I've been working for the Tim Horton Children's Foundation. This will be my fifth summer. Um, so, yeah, the full circle effect. I mean, it's I know what camp brought to me, and I want to ensure that all of the kids coming to our camp this summer get the same experience. And obviously there's a love of kids because you're a teacher as well. Congratulations. You, you graduated from Brock, and education was a specialty. So where are you heading? This is such an exciting story. In September, I'll be heading Hong Kong to teach at to Hong Kong to teach at the Delia School of Canada. I'll be teaching grade two, so it's a new and exciting experience for me. So we've got... A bunch of stuff here on the desk. Yes. Uh, tell me about the Camp Day Kit and, and what this means for the kids that come to a Tim Hortons camp. So today is Camp Day, obviously, and all of 100% of the proceeds will go to helping to send kids to camp. Like you said, 18,000 kids getting sent to camp this year. So when kids go to the camp, these are the things that they'll receive. Um, like you had previously said, our camp serves economically disadvantaged youth. So these are things that they would not be able to purchase on their own without us. So they're going to get a hat with the logo, a t-shirt. Um, it says, be great on it. Um, as you can see around my neck, I'm wearing our great beads, which are our philosophy. Um, instead of getting badges, our kids get these beads and they have these values. And this scrapbook and the shirt is built around these values. So you can see here in the scrapbook, they'll take this home with them. And they're able to reflect on their time at camp as well as insert some pictures. They can log everything. Yeah, exactly. So it allows them to reflect on their time. But then when they go home, say, oh, mom, this is where I sat to eat. Um, these are some activities that I did at camp. We have some pictures in here of campers. These were some of the activities that they did while they were at March break. Petting zoo? Yes, so this is at our farm at location. The barn. At, yeah, the barn. at the barn. So overall, they're just reflecting on how they earn their beads, and as well as a big part is how they can bring it back to their community. And when you say philosophy and the beads, the colors signify different things. Just tell me a, a little bit. We've got about 30 seconds left, but what that means. <clears throat> so for example, um, there are values that we want the children to have not only at camp, but in their community. So we have camp, we have beads that stand for peace, beads that stand for responsibility, beads that stand for reflection. We just really want kids to bring those values home with them. Caitlin, thank you so much. No, thank you. And all the best to you. Thank you very much. You'll find more information about Tim Horton's camps on our website. Now, it's over to Beth. You don't expect the star of the movie you're seeing to actually 